to Mars may be close in sight for Elon Musk. His brother, Kimball Musk, who clearly shares that creative gene, is betting big on something right here on Earth. And that's the future of farming. Not farming in the fields, but right here in a 40-foot shipping container. And Kimball is actually raffling off his own Tesla Model 3, the sixth one off of the assembly line, to fund his mission. Watch this. When you think about farming, you typically picture this. But what if you could fit all that in a single shipping container? It really is decadent. <laughs> Kimball Musk, brother of billionaire tech mogul and Tesla Motors founder Elon Musk, is betting big that this is the future of farming, urban farming. So he founded the project Square Roots. Square Roots empowers the next generation of real food entrepreneurs to bring locally farmed food, delicious real food, to your community. Each modular unit takes up about 320 square feet, but has an annual yield equivalent to a two-acre plot of farmland. A good farmer can produce 50 to 100 pounds of greens a week. That's so. amazing. And Kimball is not just growing food, he's training the next generation of farming entrepreneurs. We could have a campus in each city with 10 to 100 farms, so every year, we're unleashing 10 to 100 young entrepreneurs into America. This is Genovese Basil. Sarah Constantino is part of the second class of Square Roots Farmers. I do everything from seeding the plants to transplanting and harvesting them, packaging them up and delivering them to our customers. Halfway through the program, Sarah is now running her own container. I didn't necessarily plan to become a full-time farmer after this, but now that I'm here, it sort of hit a, hit a passion of mine in terms of developing community, focusing on agriculture. With today's amazing technology and indoor farming, the food tastes better. It's way better than shipping it thousands of miles from somewhere else in the world. So this is the future of farming, and it's a super exciting future for America. Joining us now is the founder of Square Roots, Kimball Musk. Kimball, welcome. Thank you. I like the name. All right, so walk, walk me through it slowly. Okay. I live in New York City, so this yep. seems like I might be a target audience for this. Yeah, that's right. Explain why this is needed. Well, you know, the, the, when, when, we, when I first started, I have a restaurant in Colorado called The Kitchen, and we started it uh, about 15 years ago. We really struggled to find food that tasted good. And the industrial food system is literally designed for food to ship thousands of miles. It's not designed to taste good. It's usually high-calorie, low-nutrition food. And it's a lot of the cause of, cause of a lot of problems we have in, in food today. And if you can grow the food really close to home, if you grow it close to the restaurant, uh, the food just tastes so much better. Mm -hmm. So that was, that was sort of my, my initial thinking was we just need to get food uh, closer to, to our community. It's like an urban it garden. Tastes, so, I mean, anyone who's grown uh, in, in their own backyard knows how much better it tastes. Right. You harvest right then, you eat it right then. It truly tastes so much better. And when I came across this uh, technology, it was about three or four years ago, the ability to grow food indoors that truly tastes better. Uh, obviously, indoor farming has been around for a long time, but not, not this new technology. It, it just tastes so much better, and we'll get to try some of it in a bit, but it's, it is absolutely delicious, so much better than anything shipped in from thousands of miles away. We, we created this technology that enables a young farmer to do a completely closed environment so they can grow any food, they want, any, any greens they want. We have some radishes as well, but for the most part, it's greens. And they can design it, literally design it the way a chef might like it or what they think their customer might, might, might like. We have one, um, one farmer who took, and this is so cool, he took his container and he is able to control the weather so he can decide what time the sun rises, what time the sun sets, uh, everything. And, and in Italy in 2009, there was this vintage of basil, just the basil that we normally eat, but that particular year is quite a famous year for basil in, in Italy. And he went into the, the, the weather records and recreated the summer of Italy 2009 inside of his container. Whoa. What time the sun came up, what time the sun set, what days did it rain, how much oxygen was in the air, what was the temperature, what was the humidity, uh, everything. And now sells the most premium basil in the whole city of New York because it just tastes so much better. Now, is it? Do you have to? You don't have to worry about pesticides or no anything pesticides, like that. No pesticides. There's no. There's there's absolutely no uh, artificial ingredients. Anything in there that uh, would make make you be concerned. It is the cleanest food you can possibly eat. Is it too? Is it techy? You know, am I am I like eating computer generated 
Leaves. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I think proof of the pudding. You just got to try it. All right, let's see. What do we have here? Well, this is mustard greens. This is sorrel. This is lemon basil. And these are radishes. All right, I'm going to try the sorrel. Sorrel is just incredible. And um, that was harvested uh, about four or five hours ago. Really? Mmm. Amazing, isn't it? Oh, wow, it's sweet. Yeah. And it's got a nice tang to it. I don't know what normal sorrel tastes like because I'm not a food person. <laughs> but I like it a lot. It's great. <laughs> yeah. And what's great is a, a young farmer can now grow enough sorrel that may, makes sense for the local community, whether people want to buy it directly. Any office managers out there in New York City can have us come do a farmer's market in your office. Now, I know you've dedicated your life to food. You had a very bad skiing accident. You were doing a, a tube. Tubing, I know. So I wish it was like, more exciting. Exactly. I know. But, but it's interesting to me because you broke your neck. I did. And you resolved then and there that you were going to dedicate your professionally ch trained chef. I was a prof professionally trained chef. I uh, was building the kitchen, restaurants, working with school gardens, uh, but not at any scale. And when I had that very serious accident, I went down a ski hill, uh, tube flipped. I landed on my head going 35 miles an hour, uh, broke my neck at C6 and C7, ruptured the spine, uh, paralyzed for three days. And it's, it's hard to describe paralysis. It's almost like an indescribable, it's like a non-feeling. But it was, uh, it was such an extraordinary amount of shock in my system that um, I, I, the doctors actually, funny enough, said, you, we can fix this, don't worry. But it's hard for you to process when you're, when you're paralyzed. And when I went, into, I went into surgery Tuesday evening, I just told myself, if, if they do fix me, I'm going to apply all of my background and skills to making a better future for food, uh, bringing real food to America, bring real food to everyone, and do it at scale and figure out ways to do that. Woke up the next morning, and it was kind of a bit of an anticlimactic morning because they said I could walk, except that I would have to be horizontal for two more months. Oh. And, uh, but thankfully, I could walk for two more months, and then I worked on Next Door, which is a more affordable version of the kitchen. Uh, uh, we were actually in Indianapolis, where, where uh, some of your fans last night were so excited that we're, we're on the show, and we're in Memphis and in Denver. Uh, but the idea was to create a more affordable version of the kitchen, a more, more affordable uh, uh, real food restaurant. And then um, uh, the Learning Gardens, Big Green, which uh, um, hopefully will get a lot of your fans to support through the Model 3 giveaway, is a, a, a new way of doing school gardens. Uh, these are beautiful outdoor environments, teach kids science through the growing of food. Trying to get healthy food to kids in neighborhoods that aren't privileged. And, and I love the giveaway. Thank you. Right? Of the, it's the sixth Tesla Six ever, Tesla ever, six ever made. Three ever made. Okay. It, it All right, is, we're going to talk about it on the other side okay, because great. we want to tell the people how it could be yours. Also, how you can get a spot on the first uh, SpaceX rocket carrying humans. <laughs> that, that too, in three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back now discussing the future with Kimball Musk, the founder of Square Roots. Okay, so you're auctioning off what exactly? The sixth Tesla six ever invented? Six three ever made. Um, so it's... So special to have one of the first cars off the line. Uh, they're, they're mostly handmade because they're really, we have our top engineers and our top artists working on the cars, and only, only very, very close friends of the company get the access to the early cars. And uh, I, have, I have it, and it's, I've had it for the, for the other cars as well. And when I, when I got the Model 3, I just thought how much more special it would be for someone who's a big green supporter who's helping us connect kids to food to have it. And I, and I uh, found a, a company that could help us promote it for as little as $10. Someone can uh, uh, enter to win the, my Model 3. And I think it's the most exciting thing in the world That's to imagine very cool. someone. You, you help a good cause and you drive away with a very cool car. I, I'm, I'm going to be so excited to find out who gets it. And uh, I'm so excited to just We're have it. We're going to give all the details hands. at today.com slash Megan today. But I, I've, got, you know, I've got Kimball Musk here, so I've got to ask you. Um, when are we going to Mars? Are we going to colonize it? And is it true that actual, real private citizens are probably going to get a tri trip around the moon thanks to the Musk family this year? Yes, yes, yes. Um, wow. Uh, the, uh, yeah, so Mar Mars, I think, is, is uh, definitely within our, within, our, within our lifetime to colonize it, for sure. Uh, uh, I think uh, we'll probably get to Mars in the, in the next 10 years, which is pretty amazing. And SpaceX's goal is really also about doing it at a cost that is manageable, you know, so the government, which is our major customer, can, can save a lot of money doing that. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, uh, the trip around the moon, I mean, that's all cool, and that's, that's space tourism, which we, which we like, and we, we like people who are willing to support space travel. 
But really, Mars is the mission, and we're really excited about that. Wow. And we know what the astronauts are going to be eating You know what? We, while this technology is perfect for Mars. Yeah. So it's, uh, there's nothing different in Mars than, than this, and it's the ability to get delicious, real food to everyone, even if you're on Mars. Now, more, more importantly for us locals, um, the, the Hyperloop. Yeah. Elon sent out some message about this Hyperloop, this, this high-speed train thing that can get us from New York to D.C. in 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Is that going to happen within my lifetime? Yes, that will happen in your lifetime. Uh, that, that... <laughs> you feel good about it. Great. I'm amazed at how much traffic is so primal to people. Like, please of take course. the traffic away. <laughs> exactly. All right. So and you, are you willing to make any prediction on how soon within my Like, will I have gray hair? Well, well I, I, I won't. But <laughs> I think that, that one is an interesting one because uh, my brother open sourced it. So governments as well as just young startups, uh, universities are all working on it. And uh, may the best man and woman win. All yeah. right. That's so really cool. Awesome. We, speaking of best woman, I want to mention to the audience, your mother, Mae Musk, is here. We've talked about her. This woman is unbelievable. She's 69 years old. She's a famous South African model and dietitian, And she is working the runways, I mean, like any supermodel out there still at your age, which we love that you are age-defying all standards. <laughs> Thank you for being such a great example and a great mother who's given us these wonderful children. All the best to you and your family. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much. Incredible, right? And don't forget, uh, today.com slash Megan Today if you want more information on that Tesla. Up next, more bargains for April coming your way when we come back. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.